we as a country and as a state need to figure out how to fill our energy portfolio with clean, reliable energy. Senator Sue Rezin believes a key component of that effort is the construction of high-tech small modular nuclear reactors, or SMRs, which can provide clean, efficient power, even when wind and solar operations are struggling. We've seen in other states when you've had drastic weather changes and you've seen um, the state's grid system go down or you'll see rolling brownouts because of excessive heat. In Illinois, as coal-fired power plants are shutting down, it's creating a risky situation for the MISO grid, which covers much of downstate Illinois. MISO system has had red flags for the last three years. There are red flags saying, warning, warning, we are very close to brownouts in southern Illinois. This is a very real circumstance. The University of Illinois is a leader in the worldwide effort to further develop the technology. Anytime you have new technology, we are trying to figure out how to bring the price down and commercialize it. They've made great strides in innovation, technology, and safety. And advanced reactors have been developed with uh, layer upon layer of additional safety. We're looking at an already very safe technology in nuclear power. Uh, advanced reactors will take that even further. But a major hurdle is a decades-old moratorium on the construction of any new nuclear reactors in Illinois. To overcome that, Resin worked with stakeholders and nuclear experts to develop comprehensive legislation that passed with wide bipartisan support. All of the group's uh, input, we've taken a very good bill and made it even better. Resin hopes that now the state can shift its focus on the issue to attracting the investments and good paying jobs that will come with the new industry. We're just lifting the ban to allow investments by these companies that are working in this space in this new advanced nuclear technology to say Illinois is open.